Anderson on Nurse on the Go video. Today we're going to look at priming an IV line. Um, it can be a bit of a tricky task at times and there's a few little tricks to help you get through. So first of all we want to explain to the patient um, why we're giving them IV fluids and you've got to know yourself as a nurse why you are, why the doctor has prescribed the IV fluids. That's very important. Also check the order, make sure the name, date of birth and the order match the patient and then get your equipment out. So I've got a litre bag, make sure it's in the outer casing bag. If you ever find a bag that has just been opened like this, don't use it because you can tamper with the port, things can be injected and you won't know. So if you see a bag like this, discard it and just get a new bag. So I always hang the bag first pull down pull down the little port and then twist off the blue cap so that's ready to go. The reason I hang it I don't like having it in my hand because you, if you go to spike the bag good chance you can go through the side here and then you're letting um, all the fluid out and infection in. So my first one I'm going to do is a gravity fed line so we take out the line now it's all pre-packed ready to unroll if you, you work out how to do it. So it should just unroll. Never let the tip hit the floor. Once it hits the floor, it goes in the bin. Because um, you don't eat off the floor, so you don't expect to put IV fluids through someone's drip if it's fallen on the floor. Always, this is the catch, always clamp off first before you spike the bag, because otherwise you'll get air introduced into the circuit. Take your cap off, non-touch technique, so hold the giving set in one hand, your bag in the other, hold the port still and push and twist at the same time. Okay, now there's a little indicator to tell you how far to push in. Give the chamber two or three squeezes, you want about half a chamber full of fluid because otherwise you'll get air through it. Flick out any bubbles and then see these little Y, y, y inlets here invert them. So when you actually prime the line, do it nice and slow, you don't have to be fast, you actually get the um, fluid all the way into the Y connector and you don't get a bubble there. And the same with the distal port. So just make sure the end is lower than your bag so you've got gravity feeding through. And once you're at the finish, turn your roller clamp off and you're ready to go. Okay. So now that was how we prime a um, gravity fed line. Now I have, there's many types of um, pump lines available, um, but I'm just going to show you just one, just to demonstrate. So we hang our bag up just the same as a giving set before. Twist off the blue cap at the bottom, okay. Get our new giving set, take it out of the packet. All right, remember, keep it off the floor. Take off, this one has tape, so just take that stuff off, just makes it too hard. Put your roller clamp on, just then in, take your dust cap off, hold your bag still and gently push and twist. Okay, until you get fluid, give it a couple of presses till it's half full, give it a flick to make sure the air bubbles are out of the bottom, invert your Y suction, uh, Y connector again, let the fluid drain through. Now with this one we have a silicon based pumping mechanism. These are only heat sealed on so um, you can't push medication through the top because you can crack the seal and then you'll have to start up get a new set. So wait for it to prime all the way through till you get fluid at the bottom. Check for any air bubbles and just keep priming until they've disappeared. Clamp it off and there you are, you're ready to go. So uh, thank you again and um, hope you enjoyed Nurse on the Go video for today.